Seekers, welcome. My name is Jared, and I'm going to take you through a little glute sculpty moment here at Physique 57. So we won't waste too much time. We'll get right into it. All you need is a bar and something on the floor to lay on, but mostly the bar for balancing. So we're going to start facing into our bar. Feet thighs together. Bend your knees, incline your chest. Now just go ahead and think about bracing your abs up into your spine. And that's pretty much the key to all glute work here at Physique. Go ahead and bring your left leg back first. Yes, we are starting with the left side today. Good luck. Push your left foot back, back. So right off the back, I want you to go ahead and take one flex, one point, and just feel the change in the back of your leg. Feel all the muscles that you're engaging here. Just flex and point, go push and poke. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel this almost immediately. I'm gonna feel so much heat in this fire in the back of my hamstring, but I'm doing it with you. So here we go, one flex and point. Now, as you flex and point, keep lifting up and out of your hips. Keep the abs protecting you against your spine. And keep this all pretty much just as much focus in the abs as you would in your glutes. That's pretty much the goal here at Physique, because to keep all the abs going. Point your toe, little circle around. Feeling every nook and cranny, and especially in glute work, honestly, less is more. I find that like the bigger I move, I don't actually feel as many muscle groups happening. So move a little smaller and see what you feel. Take the other way. Let's circle around. And circle around. Oh, I'm really feeling my hands a lot right here. But let's all bring our heel a little closer to us. Let's all get into that heat together. Circle. Now hold it back. Now knee to knee to. Can't you go in for two? You're gonna open your left thigh to the side. One more time. Go in. And in fact, take your right elbow to the bar. That way you can kind of use it and you can really feel the oblique helping you on the way up, down. Down. Let's take it a little bit faster here. Let's go. Bring it in. Open side. In. Open side. That's it, y'all. You should feel so much heat in that side glute, side that, keep that going, lift and lower down, up, last one, hold it side, you're gonna paint brush forward, forward for two, paint it back, just like that, again, go forward, forward, and back, and by now, you might be quivering just as much as I am, so that makes me feel really good that we're all here in this fire together. Now listen, part two, you go forward for two, you go back for two, now knee to knee, in, the open side. One more time, you paint it forward. This is where it gets really fun for every part of your body. You need to hear how heavy my breath is now. One more time, slow. One more time, back. We bring it in, in, in. Okay, here we go. Single caps, let's take it there. Go forward, back, bring it in, open side. So why are you breathing so heavy, you say? Well, it means that we're not only getting our thighs and glutes warm, but we're getting a lot of heart rate up, a lot of cardio going. In fact, your leg muscles are the biggest calorie burners on your body, which is gonna bring a lot of heat and a lot of fire right here, right now. Let's just add more though. Pop your standing heel high and just keep moving with me. Four more like that, four, back, bring it in, open side, three more, in, out. Two more like that, you got it. Oh my God, I'm here with you. I feel all this fire everywhere. In, hold it back, little lift up an inch. Oh my God, okay, lift. Let's point the toe, lift, reach the hand to the ceiling. Up, now get taller. You got this, oh, let's pull that elbow in. Ah, I'm on fire, just keep pulling, just keep pulling. You got eight, last seven. We got standing split in six, five, four, three. Hop back from your bar just a little bit. Walk one or two hands down. A little standing split and just lift it up. I know what you're thinking. Jared, I'm not doing it right, it's not that high. Don't worry about the height, it's all about the length. So reach your toes longer, keep looking up. Here we go, coming down this clamshell. In four, three, lay on your right hip, left leg on top. Clamshell, go open for two. And almost immediately, you might feel like your glute is gonna melt off your body. That is exactly what we're going for. It's called time under tension. We call it interval overload. So as you lift and lower, just know that that is supposed to feel like that. It's supposed to be so hot. It is literally being so concentrated to the muscles in the glutes that it should feel unbearable. Try faster, lift, lower. Like I said, it is not easy. This is not easy, but here at Physique, it's not about how easy it is, it's about how challenging it is because that's what builds so much fire. I'm just rambling at this point because wow, I'm on fire. Four more, go four. Here we go, last three. You got last two, now we're gonna get fancy again. Hold it, stretch your leg, you go out for two. You tap the floor for two. You lift it up, toes together. Yep, that glute should feel just like that. If you are quivering, you are doing it right. Lift, lift, and tilt. Let's try a little bit faster. Go reach down, up, tilt together. Yes, 
Now go for the length every single time. It's easy to get caught up in the overload, but how can you think about the mind over matter? How can you think about the form at the same time? Are your hips set? Are your shoulders pressing down the back? Are you using your abs? If you're not, I'm not either. I'm gonna use them now. Here we go, go reach, lower, lift together. Reach, hold it up, bottom foot down. Just kick it up, just kick it up, just breathe. Oh my God, I know, I know, just kick. We gotta reset soon. Maybe up an inch, down an inch. Go up an inch, down an inch. Ah, it's so far. Go lift and lower. You got it, team. Last one, hold it up, just kick and kick. You got last 10, last nine, last eight, last seven, just six, just five, just four, three, two, lay on your back. Feet flat, lower your hips up, bring them right back down. So we got a little glute bridge, just to make sure everything's a little reset for the back, everything's supported. Abs are hugging in. Let's go ahead and cross our right leg on top. That means your left leg should be in the ground, which means you'll still be working that left hamstring, which means no, we've yet to lose that fire. Those tight transitions between the movements is what keeps us in that fire, keeps us building on that cardio and that internal overload. As you can tell, my breath's getting even heavier, even more fire. Let's try it faster. Just lift, lower. Okay, here we go. Try to hit that full range all the way up, all the way to the floor. Lift, lower for a right finish. Take a deep breath in, tiny lift at the top. Just go up, up and down, go lift. Lift, maybe flex your bottom to bottom foot off the floor. Keep lifting, lifting. Maybe right toes to the ceiling. Maybe hands go high. Okay, let's finish this off. 15 seconds on the clock. Oh my God, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Hey, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Quick reset, cross your left leg on top. You got 30 seconds, just a little reset. If you want a spinal twist, spinal twist, you can do it. But I'm gonna get you moving right away. We don't have time. We have a whole other leg to do. So take your bar to the other side. Take your hands in the bar. Deep breath, ground two, right leg back. Let's go, flex and point. No time to waste. Like I said, those tight transitions in between one position and another, even one side and another, is so important because that's really what builds so much strength. That's what get, keeps up our momentum up. And that's what builds that stamina that we're all craving. Keep that flex and point going deep more. Now, shift a little bit more weight to your right hand. Take your left hand to your low back and just feel that your abs are going up and in towards your hand. That way all that stays supported. Flex, point, point your toe, circle your thigh around. Just circle. And especially as we have these moments of moving slowly, take advantage of how much you lose your breath. Take advantage of how much you can feel your form. Are your shoulders rolling down your back? Are your abs moving up and in? Can you bend your standing like just a little bit more to protect your joints? Yeah, just like that. Other way, circle and circle. And I know I look really calm, and I'm kind of smiley right now, but trust me, my right hamstring might fall off my body. I will never stop moving. So you may not know, you may know before I do, but that's okay, we're gonna keep moving together. As long as you don't stop, I won't stop. Keep circling around. Now hold, little lift up an inch, lift, lift, we're gonna open the right knee, go open and close, take your left elbow down, here we go, lift, lower, and sometimes you need to flex your foot, that's okay, you might cramp a little bit in the calf like I am now, so if you need to flex, you flex, if you need to point, you point, you're gonna hold it open, little lift up the top, now stretch your leg really long, just lift, that's it, okay, we just did twizzle, start to bring your leg forward to calf, you slide it forward, Forward, flex your leg right behind you. Forward, forward. Now let's all grab our bottom oblique, lift just a little bit. Make sure that's supported there. Bring it forward. Here we go, part two. We go forward, forward, back. Now knee to knee, we twizzle in, in. Over here to the side, one more time like that. Go forward. Open your hip, get longer and longer. Yes, in. Let's try it faster. Here we go, we go forward. Lengthen knee to knee, open. Forward, lengthen. Now by this point, here's the funny part. Not only is your skin, what am I saying? Just keep moving. But here's the funny part. Not only is your working leg doing so much work, not only is your abs doing so much work, but because of the standing leg, you're getting double the glutes, double the fun, and double the fire. Let's do two more like that. In, back, bring me in. Last one, we're gonna hold it to the side, just lift it up an inch, okay. Here's a moment, last thing standing. Reach your hand high. 
point your toe. Just pop your skinny heel high. Keep a little lift up. Maybe add a pull for eight, seven. Oh my God, you got six. Maybe a little bit higher for four, three. Walk your hands to the floor. Standing split. We're almost there. We're almost on the floor, which is really fun. I love laying on the floor for glutes sometimes. But we're gonna keep this one. We got eight times. Eight. Last six. Keep breathing. Four, three, two. Come down to your left hip. Right thigh opens. Okay. We made it. Biggest transition is done. We're on the floor. We're in a clamshell. We open, we close, we just lift, lower, now hold. Tiny lifts up and go up and down. Go deeper into that overload. Deeper into that squeeze. Yes. We don't want to hold back from the overload. It's scary as it is to go into that fire. I want you to go even deeper, even further. That's it. Take it all the way down. Up. Okay, part two is coming. Here it comes. Listen up. We do one clamshell close, open. You stretch your leg, bend it in. That's it. Close, open, stretch. That's it. Close, open. On your last one, keep the leg long. Hold it, leg long, bottom foot down, top the floor. You go lower. You lift it up. You bend it in. You stretch it out again like that. So you get your bottom foot on the floor for a moment. That's totally okay. You can always pick it up if you want that extra challenge. But keep that leg reaching long. Keep the abs pulling in. Yes, yes. Let's try it a little bit faster. Down, up, toes in, open out. Let's do three more. Woo! How's your glute? If it's not on fire like mine, feel a little higher. I know you got it. Last one, hold it little. Let's up eight. Oh gosh, eight, seven, six. Here we go. Get into the fire. You got five, four, three, two. Last thing on your back. Feet flat. Lift your hips, lower down, and go ahead and cross your left leg over your right. That way your right foot into the floor. We're still focused on that right hand on the string. And we're gonna finish off our glute here now. You got 30 seconds left on the clock. Three beats up. Let's go. Up, two, three. Okay, here's the moment. I know it gets really challenging this moment. We can laugh about the overload all we want, but it is intense. It is so hard. So as you go into this, think about how you want to feel when you're done. Think about that feeling that you want to have, that accomplishment, that sense of energy at the end. Let's go a little less at the top. Just lift. Point your toe to the ceiling. Maybe hands go high, get a little reset coming soon. Final 20 seconds on the clock. That's it, go up, down, up. Woo, I'll go a little higher with you. Last 10, nine, eight, we hold in six, five, four, three, two. Don't move this hole, one inch higher. Don't move, one inch higher. Oh my God, don't move, don't move, don't move. And move, you crush your leg over. Hands can stretch, get a little rock side to side. And just like that, you got less than 15 minutes of glutes done for your day. I hope you feel ready for the week, physiquers. I'll see you next time. Bye.